Hello, hello, Flutterfall developers, and welcome to API for YouTube channel. My name is Andri, and today we will talk about how to connect Stripe for one-time payment with your web application in Flutterfall. So if you have task to receive some one-time payments for online stores or some other like payment-based applications, payment-based websites, you can use Stripe as very, very, very comfortable and a very easy option to receive payments. So uh, what we need to do, we need to enable a web application, web platform for our Flutterfall application, and we need to publish our website. So it will have published state, and you also can uh, put your custom domain here and uh, then publish it with custom domain. So I already published my website and I already enabled web platform. Next, what I need to do, I will go to API flow. API flow is the platform that allow us to connect to different external services to Flutterfall and I will create a new project. Next, I will select the Stripe as a service to connect and I will, for example, call it Stripe uh, Web Demo as a name for my project, create project. And next, you need to create Stripe connection. So you need to put name of your account of your mentioned uh, into display name, select your country, it's required for correct processing of uh, payments through Stripe, then uh, find Stripe publishable key and Stripe secret key. You can find these keys in your developer's dashboard, you can click this link and it will open Stripe developer dashboard for you. So I already created an account and I will use it for this demo. So next, what I need to do, I need to publish my integration. After I published my integration, I will download open API definitions. This will create a file that I need to import into Flutterfall in API call section using this button, import open API. And I select upload file, select my API definition. And as you can see, it will create for me an action that allow me to work with mobile and web-based uh, options for payments through Stripe. Next, what I need to do for additional security, I need to copy and insert here in headers my authorization he uh, header for API flow. I need to save this. This header is a safe option to send uh, requests to API flow and API flow will route them to Stripe to protect your actual access uh, to Stripe API. So you don't expose any API tokens and you do not expose any additional data in your application. And even if it's protected by Flutterfall, it's additional security for you. So next, let's follow Flutterfall web setup option and we have here stop one time stripe payments manual which we will follow so we will create a stripe session data type to do so we go to our data types click create data type from json on this button and we'll paste a name here and we'll copy a data sample and we'll paste it here so this will create an object called Stripe session for us, type called Stripe session for us in Flutterfall. And we have URL field here, uh, here, session ID and customer ID. Next, go to API calls, uh, create payment link web action, response and test, and select here, parses data type, select Stripe session and save your changes. That's all, this is a first stage, first step of setup for integration of Flutterfall and Stripe to API flow. From this point, you are able to call Stripe actions to send parameters, as you can see here, it's a amount, currency, description, email, name, phone, discount code, CSS URL and cancel URL. We will talk about 
these options in a moment when we will start to integrate Stripe into our application components. So now when we have our Stripe API imported in our Flutter Flow project, we can continue and uh, set a logic of our payment operation in our application. In my project, I created four pages. One of them is order page where I will continue uh, my order submission and actually will uh, proceed to profile page. To profile page, we ask our customer to provide some personal data to uh, submit it for this order. And this button will actually create a payment in uh, Stripe through API flow. And we have two pages, one of them called success page and another one is called failure page. So let's uh, continue with our setup. Also what I did, I created an app state variable called amount. It's type of double with default uh, value of 430. And this variable will hold our our amount of our order, we will use it to display at this order page, and then we will use it in a profile page to create actual payment for our order. So here, when our customer click uh, submit order, we will just simply navigate to a profile page, and that's all. We don't do anything else here. At profile page, we have two fields called name and email. And when I click continue to check out, we will actually create a new payment in our Stripe API. So we will call, uh, we can call API call, we will select our Stripe Web Demo API for uh, API group and then create payment link operation. Next, we need to set our variables. So we set amount, we will use it from app state. You can use it from some different parameters if you need. Next, we need to set currency. Currency is ISO three-letter code for your currency. I will use United States dollars. Next, we need to provide some description. For example, I will call it order payment. You can use some name of product or some other like a description. So this will allow us to have a readable description for our order. Next, we need to bind email option. Email option will be bind to email address field and name option will be bind to our widget state name field. Next, we can provide phone and discount code. I don't use phone or discounts in my project, but you can use them. Next, Two required option is success URL and cancel URL. So where to get these options? As you remember, we already published our application. So we have this application domain, application link, and you also can bind the custom domain. I will use some generated by a uh, full domain. And here we can find our success page and our failure page as well. So I will copy this link, will go to my application, my action, and here in parameters, I will set success URL to my success page and cancel URL to my failure page. Failure page. And now I will name my, my result as API payment. Okay, great. Now when our action is successfully completed, we need to redirect our uh, customer to Stripe payment page. So we will use launch URL option, a uh, launch URL action, and we will use URL from variable it will be our action output, API payment result. And here we will select as data type. As you remember, we already set uh, our result of our create payment link to be parsed to uh, Stripe session data type. So that's why we can use as data type options, data structure field URL. And this will allow us to open 
page to complete payment. And after payment completed, our customer will be redirected to success page. So now we set all logic for our payment. It's very fast, very simple, very transparent, and I will publish on my web application and we'll proceed to testing of my application and we'll show you how it works in the next section of this video. So now when we set the logic of our payment in our web application and we published it in this new version, we can open our application and check how it works. As you can see, I display here my amount of order and here I provide my name. And next, I provide my email and continue to check out. This will create a checkout in uh, Stripe and I can use test card here. Any date in the future. And pay my test payment. So you can see it processed and I am redirected to my payment confirm page payment success page and that's great here we can see result of our operation and as you can see everything works as expected our stripe payment like in my case it was payment to your test account but you also can switch it to your production anytime it was completed and we provide very simple and very straightforward uh, experience for our customer to pay for some goods or uh, any other services. So I hope this video will help to develop uh, required features for your application. Thank you for your attention and have a nice day.